Edexcel A-Level Maths Mechanics, October 2020, Question 1. A rough plane is inclined to the horizontal at an angle alpha, where tan alpha equals 3 quarters. A brick P of mass M is placed on the plane. The coefficient of friction between P and the plane is mu. Brick P is in equilibrium and on the point of sliding down the plane, brick P is modelled as a particle. Using the model for part A, we need to find, in terms of M and G, the magnitude of the normal reaction of the plane on brick P. So, as always, let's start with our diagram. Here's the slope. We've got the brick P on there. We've got our force coming straight downwards, which is our force due to gravity, which is mass M times by G. We will have the reaction force, which is perpendicularly upwards away from the slope. I'm going to call that one R. As brick is on the point of sliding down the plane, our friction force is going to be going up the plane. And we call this one mu, the coefficient of friction, times by R. We've also been told that tan alpha equals 3 quarters. We can use this to get cos and sine of alpha. So if you think of this as a right angle triangle, as tan is opposite over adjacent, we can put our 3 and our 4 in on the triangle. This is a Pythagorean triple, so the hypotenuse would have to be length 5. Using this, we can now see that sine alpha equals opposite over hypotenuse 3 fifths, and cos alpha would equal the adjacent over the hypotenuse four-fifths. We've now got everything we need to answer the question, so let's start balancing our forces. So perpendicular to the slope, we've got R going upwards. Downwards, we've got Mg from gravity, but our Mg is going straight downwards. We want it perpendicular to the slope, so this is going to be cos alpha. If you're unsure of why it's cos alpha, I've put this blue right angle triangle on the diagram. With a bit of geometry, we can see that the top angle of the triangle is alpha. The force is the hypotenuse. We want the adjacent side that's perpendicular to the slope. Hence, we're going to go with cos alpha. So R equals mg cos alpha. Hence, R is 4 fifths mg. For part B, we need to show that mu, the coefficient of friction, is 3 quarters. So we've balanced perpendicularly, now let's balance parallel to the slope. So we've got mu r going upwards, downwards we've again got gravity, this time we're going down the slope, so it's mg sine alpha. We've worked out what r is, it's 4 fifths mg, and we know that sine alpha is 3 fifths, so we can replace them. We get 4 fifths mu mg equals 3 fifths mg. Well, both sides have got M on them, we can cancel those out. We can cancel out the G's, so we've got 4 fifths mu equals 3 fifths. Multiplying both sides by 5, we get 4 mu equals 3. And dividing by 4, we get mu equals 3 quarters, as required. For parts C and D, we're not required to do any further calculations, so this is important here. Uh, brick P is now removed from the plane, and a much heavier brick Q is placed on the plane. The coefficient of friction between Q and the plane is also 3 quarters. This hasn't changed. For part C, we need to explain briefly why brick Q will remain at rest on the plane. So let's refer back to our diagram again. So I've replaced R with the 4 fifths mg that we calculated. I've replaced the friction force with the 3 fifths mg that we've also calculated. Looking at this, we can see that the forces up and down the plane are both multiples of m. Hence, they will cancel each other out. So the change in m has no effect on the brick's status. It will still remain at rest. So now brick Q is projected with speed 0.5 meters per second down a line of greatest slope of the plane. Brick Q is still modeled as a particle. And using the model for part D, we need to describe the motion of brick Q giving a reason for our answer. Well, there's no resultant force down the plane. Our forces balance each other out. So without a resultant force, the brick will keep moving with a constant speed. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.